Okay, transparent textures are probably super easy, but it took me half an hour to find on YouTube, so I'm gonna make my own tutorial that's only three minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I have a plant PNG here, has a transparent background. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and make a plane, create 3D object, plane. I'm gonna go and bring him in, scale him roughly to what a plant size object should be. A little bit skinnier, a little bit shorter. Okay, and we're gonna create a new material. Right click and create new material. That's fine, collect plant. I'm not worried about that right now. And make sure that we are on our standard materials down here. And under the albedo channel, we're gonna drag our plant into that little box right next to the name. And drag our plant material that we just created right on top of our thing. And let's go ahead and rotate it around so it looks where it should be, supposed to be. Hold control, get in snaps of 90 degrees. And that's our plant. It's a little giant. All right, all right, I'll shrink him down a little bit. All right, and position him down to the ground. And let's make a couple copies of him. Control this. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V. So let's stick one behind it. Stick one over here. And drag the last one over here. Those are all plants. Okay, so they're not transparent. So if you go here, you click your material again. All you do is uh, where it says rendering mode opaque, just go and drop it down to cutout. And it should maintain shadows and everything. Okay. Hopefully this is a quick answer if you're looking how to do this and you deal with cubes and 3D objects a little bit differently, but hopefully this is helpful for you. Okay, thanks, bye.